Welcome to the 1992 Subaru SVX Light Technical Overview. This introductory video package reviews the light technical features of the exciting performance luxury coupe from Subaru, the 1992 Subaru SVX. This program is an integral part of the 1992 New Model Introduction Course. It is not intended to stand alone as New Model Introduction Training for Technicians. It is, however, designed to quickly introduce dealership service personnel to the technical features of the 1992 Subaru SVX. The 1992 Subaru SVX is the culmination of years of design and development research. The result is the production of a world-class performance luxury coupe. This is a high-quality automobile equipped with the latest performance and safety features. In addition to eye-catching, heart-stopping styling, the Subaru SVX is equipped with the following standard features. A 3.3-liter high-performance, horizontally opposed, six-cylinder engine. A four-speed, electronically controlled automatic transmission with full-time all-wheel drive. A limited slip rear differential. An anti-lock braking system, ABS. A driver's side supplemental restraint system, commonly called an airbag system a rear intermittent wiper washer, an automatic climate control system, a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, lighted vanity mirrors, overhead spotlights, a Panasonic 80-watt stereo system with automatic antenna, and ergodynamically designed suede-like seats. In addition to the standard features, the optional touring package includes an electric sunroof, vehicle speed sensitive power steering, heated side rear view mirrors, a driver's side eight-way adjustable power seat, an interior leather package covering the seats, steering wheel, shift selector, and parking brake handle, and a Panasonic 80-watt stereo with CD player and an electronically controlled six-way speaker system. And finally, there is an optional rear spoiler. Let's take a look at the powertrain in a little more detail. The soul of the SVX is a new, normally aspirated 3.3-liter H6 high-performance engine. The horizontally opposed six-cylinder has seven main bearings, dual overhead cams, four valves per cylinder, sequential multi-point fuel injection, direct ignition, and a 10 to 1 compression ratio. The Subaru SVX is equipped with an all-wheel drive, four-speed, electronically controlled automatic transmission, which is similar to the 4EAT used in the Legacy sedan. Three crucial improvements have been engineered to handle the increased engine torque of the high-performance H6 engine and to enhance transmission durability. The lock-up torque converter clutch capacity is measurably increased. Another lubrication path provides the rear planetary gear set with improved lubrication. And finally, the reduction and planetary gear sets are strengthened by a new honing process. The limited slip viscous coupling rear differential unit is similar, although larger, than the unit used in the Legacy Sports sedan. Service is limited to the gaskets and seals as in previous model years. Now let's examine some of the unique exterior styling and engineering concepts that are incorporated into the design of the Subaru SVX. The sleek, slippery profile has a low 0.29 coefficient of drag. This is a product of enhanced aerodynamics. Created by a fluid body design, integrating the bumper with an engine undercover and the body side panels to direct the airflow smoothly around the vehicle. Exterior road noise and vehicle sound and vibration are greatly reduced from entry to the passenger compartment through the extensive use of sound deadening materials. In addition, rubber mounts are used to isolate drivetrain and suspension components wherever possible. The innovative aerodynamic tinted glass-to-glass -glass canopy reduces glare, provides a feeling of openness, and presents a high degree of driver visibility. An improved sunroof design provides a thin, light, yet strong, movable panel which moves up and over the roof in order to maximize headroom. Drain hoses remove water from the sunroof opening area to prevent corrosion. The drain hoses are located at all four corners of the sunroof opening 
and are routed through the A and C pillars to drain water to the wheel well openings. As mentioned earlier, the optional touring package includes heated side view mirrors. The heaters are activated by pressing the switch located on the left side of the instrument panel. The mirror surfaces will heat to approximately 77 degrees Fahrenheit after five minutes. This system does not use a timer. The five mile per hour bumper construction and materials are similar to existing Subaru models. However, the bumper skin material has been enhanced to allow for increased flexibility as well as improved resistance to paint flaking and discoloration in the event of minor impacts. The ABS resin radiator grill and clear polycarbonate lens is integrated with the design of the headlamps. For easy removal and installation, the grill has quick release retaining clips which attach the grill to the front support bracket similar to the Legacy. The new hood configuration is freestanding without the aid of a hood prop. For greater convenience, the heavily insulated hood is equipped with gas struts. The hood struts may be relocated to a second set of mounting holes to increase the hood opening angle during servicing. In addition, the fiber reinforced plastic trunk lid is also equipped with gas struts instead of torsion bars. Now for the interior. An ergodynamically designed passenger compartment places components and controls in a comfortable and highly accessible arrangement. The easily readable instrument cluster includes the graphic telltale monitor, the engine temperature and fuel gauges, the tachometer, the electronic speedometer, and the odometer. The highly functional light control stalk is located on the left side of the steering wheel, similar to previous models, with the additional feature of the new daylight dimmer cancel switch. This switch allows full brightness for the radio, shift indicator, and climate control LEDs during daylight whenever the headlights are turned on. The cruise control, fog lamp, and security alarm switches are located on the left side of the instrument cluster. The remote control side view mirrors adjustment, the mirror heater, and the parking light switches are located below the left side of the instrument cluster. The hazard switch and the rear window defogger switch are located on the right side of the instrument cluster. The cruise control subswitch mounted on the steering wheel functions similar to the legacy system with one additional feature, a new cancel function. By pulling the cruise control switch towards you, the system operation is canceled. This has the same effect as stepping on the brake pedal. The cruise control system can be reactivated by moving the cruise control lever to the resume or to the set position. Also on the right side of the steering column is the wiper stalk. The wiper stalk controls the front and rear wipers and washers, plus the intermittent cycle for both wipers. In the center of the dashboard are the automatic climate control switches, the radio, and the compact disc player if so equipped. An audio cover is provided for additional security of the audio system. The optional touring package includes an eight-way adjustable power seat with a manually adjustable headrest. This provides for the ultimate in driver comfort through individualized seat, backrest, and headrest positioning. Two switches control the movement of the seat cushion and the backrest. The standard manually adjustable driver's seat also provides eight-way adjustment for driver comfort through individualized positioning. Four manual controls move the seat and backrest. Three are located on the outside of the seat and the fourth is located under the front of the seat cushion for sliding the seat from front to back. The front passenger seat has a unique storage tray located under the seat cushion. The removable tray slides in and out on rails. A release lever is located on the left side of the passenger seat backrest. This allows the driver to tilt the seat backrest forward and operate the walk-in feature providing passenger access to the rear seats. For additional convenience, there is also a lever on the right side of the passenger seat cushion which performs the same function. The backrest release lever is located under the right side rear headrest. The one-piece rear seat backrest folds forward to provide a pass-through to the trunk storage area. The backrest security lock system operates in the same manner as the system on the Legacy LS sedan. It is accessed through the trunk. Now let's take a look at the brake system. 
the four-wheel disc brake system is similar in design and operation to the legacy sports sedan. Some of the components, however, are larger to provide improved braking capability. A proportioning valve is located on the right front strut tower. Although it looks different, it functions similar to proportioning valves used on other Subaru models. The parking brake system is also similar in design, operation, and adjustment to the Legacy. An access panel is located on the left side of the center console to allow adjustment of the parking brake cable. The Subaru SVX uses the same Nippon ABS braking system with F-valve as the Legacy sedan. For additional information, refer to the existing ABS diagnostic video program and also the Subaru SVX service manual for system operation and servicing procedures. There are a variety of features associated with the steering system.